exorcism is alive and well. The Bible is filled with demons. If you believe in God, you have to believe in the devil. I call it a smart thriller because my friends always ask, because they've seen the trailer too, and they, they want to ask all these questions about specifics. And, and like you, I think the best way to experience the film is to just know that you're going to go in and it's going to be taut and you're going to have anxiety and you're going to get scared. Well, well, what is she doing here? What is she doing here? I don't know. She hasn't said a word. Oh, no? Okay. Can you hear me? She hasn't responded to anything I've said so far. Where's her dad? I have no idea. That's why I called you. And you don't know. So there were multiple levels of tension going on. No. It's really much more of a psychological thriller. It's not, it's the absence of the, the vomiting and the yellow eyes. There's none of that. You're watching this girl go into this, this other state and you say, oh my God, either she's possessed or she's having a complete psychotic break, but either way, this reverend can't handle it and now the father's gonna shoot her. So it's a very scary film on multiple levels. Can you tell us how you got here? You go <sighs> I'm not getting any answer. Okay, it's gonna be okay, honey. Now. Well, we, you know, we had we had no no hair and makeup, and uh, we wore the same clothing basically. That was and the scariest part of the <laughs> No hair and makeup no was the scariest thing. <laughs> but, like for me, walking to, coming to work, and you know, Ashley Ashley's so good at playing Nell. Um, as we descend into figuring out whether or not you know what's wrong with Nell, for me, I, I just had to react because she was she was laying out such good stuff, you know, and uh, not having a big production around helped me a lot with that. Nell, can you hear me? Yeah. Good, nothing to be nervous about. What is that? It's coming through my skin. Please help. Get out of my... Let him come now. 